Hello everyone, hi. Hope everyone is doing well tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. And to all of my subscribers, thank you. You know I appreciate it, I really, really do. And to everyone else, thank you so much for stopping by to spend some time with us here tonight. And um, I hope you enjoy yourself. And if you do, um, maybe you would might wanna consider uh, subscribing because we would love to have you. So. What you're looking at right here, this is my Dooney & Burke Small Russell in the pebble grain leather and the color Persimmon. And this is the bag that I decided to switch into today because it was a lovely day. And with what I had on, I didn't have much to do today. In fact, I just got in from the gym, it's rather late and I have all of this energy right now and it's almost bedtime, but I have all of, all of this energy right now, so I figure, Hey, why not film a video? Um, so this is the bag that I am currently in, but tonight's video is not about this bag. So I will not be um, showing you what's inside or going over any of the details. I just wanted to show you what I was carrying. However, what tonight's video is about, let me show you. Okay, tonight's video is about this beautiful bag right here. And this is my Dooney & Burke East West Shopper in the color natural and Florentine leather. I was in this bag up until yesterday, up until today. Can't even get my thoughts right. And I did an unboxing with this. I shared that video with you about two weeks ago, I think. And so now I am back to share with you what, what fits in this bag. Now, actually I filmed that portion already. Um, I don't know what I did or yeah, I just don't know what I did, but the beginning part of that video, somehow I deleted it. So I'm here to refilm the in intro. Now, um, before I share that with you, let me just say, you will hear me mention, um, the park. And that's because when, with the original video, I had planned to, um, film it in the park and I had a whole vision of how I wanted to film it, how I wanted to present it to you all and um, I had my mom with me that day and because I was doing some exercises in the gym uh, in the park and it was so nice out that day I decided to take her with me however before I can uh, finish my workout and get to the actual filming she got tired so we had to cut our visit short so when you hear me mention the park that is why so without further delay sit back relax and enjoy unfortunately everyone i was unable to film the what's in my bag in the park because before i could get around to doing that mommy got a little bit tired so we had to cut that visit short so um i am back in my bedroom which you are all familiar with so we'll just have to do it here. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to share with you is how I decided to um, dress this bag. And I tried a few different things. I tried um, the chains, I tried a couple other charms, I even tried one of my palms. But for this one, I wanted to keep it kind of simple for my first use. And then I remembered I had these beautiful DBs which came off of my pebble grain hobo uh, bag. And I didn't like it on that bag, but on this bag, it's beautiful. I liked it a lot. Um, I had to use one of my hooks that I ordered from Amazon in order to attach it. And um, as you can see, the leather is a little bit darker, but that's fine. I don't, I don't care about that. It, it blends, so it, it works fine for me. So um, that's what I decided to use to um, wear on the outside of the bag. And yeah, I just decided to uh, keep it simple for the first time around on the outside. Now I did though, when it came to, to the accessories, I wanted to add some pops of color. And let me share with you first what I tried and decided not to use. And of course, the first thing that I thought of was my um, Dooney and Burke zip around wristlet. 
So I thought about using this. And then for color, I thought of my Dunienberg watercolor wristlet. But, back it up some so you can see. But, I, even though I like this, but for my first time use, um, I didn't want to use that. So, I didn't. But let me share with you what I did decide so, to. Going into the inside of the bag. First, let me give you a quick peek. Now, first let me say, this bag is super duper stuffed. Normally, I would not have this much stuff in my bag with me, but because um, it was a spare of the moment trip, and while mommy was up for it, I just, I didn't have time to be switching out bags, so I just kept the bag that I had, and I just threw the additional things in it that I needed, which, actually says a lot about this bag. So kudos to the Dooney and Burke East West Shopper. But let me give you a quick peek so you can see what it looks like on the inside. And yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in there and it is really, really heavy. So um, let me go ahead and show you what I got in here. Actually, let me start on the back side of the bag, which is where I have most of the heavy stuff. Now, the first thing that I have is a book and I purchased this a couple of weeks ago at Barnes & Noble and it's uh, You Can Heal Your Life. It's an inspirational, um, motivational type book by Louise Hayes and that day this book just spoke to me so I, I picked it up. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing that I have in there. The second is another book and this one is the Eat Clean Diet Workout Book by Tosca Reno. Now I have a couple of books by her. I love this book. This is, I call this my workout Bible. I keep this in my gym bag at all times. And the reason for this purchase, um, I used to have a personal trainer and once my sessions ended with him, I needed something to help me continue my progress. And for me, books and paper when it depending on what what the situation is I like to have things in print and I found this book and as you can see <laughs> look I've used it to death and like I said I keep it in my uh, gym bag at all times um, I love this book I have look as you can see I have notes stuck in between the pages I have notes written inside the book I have sticky post-it notes um, everything um, in this book and again like I said this is my workout Bible um, yeah it has had it though um, it needs a new spine but um, I don't care I, I it still works for me so I did try to find another but um, I might have to just order it online because I don't see them in Barnes & Noble anymore but I have this this is my workout Bible so this is the second book that I have in there Let's see what's next. The, I have um, my tracking journal for things, all my orders. I log everything in here. And let's see what else. Uh, <laughs> I have a half eaten uh, trail mix bar, fruit and nut trail mix bar. I also have, let's see. Oh. Oh, I have to take this out and put it in the refrigerator. I have, I always now carry with me lemon and lime wedges because I um, carry with me whenever I go out. I have, uh, oh wait, actually I have it right here. I keep this with me at all times. I keep it filled with water and lemon and lime wedges. And so when I go out, I take it with me filled and then um, if I need to stop somewhere to buy more water to fill it, I like to have my lemon and lime with lemon and lime wedges with me to put it in there. So that's why I have this in my bag. In fact, I normally have four, but um, I use two already. Okay, what else do we have in here? I also have another item that normally um, is kept in my gym bags. And these are, I ordered these from Amazon, and these are um, workout things. And I put these to incorporate into my workout at the gym and when I'm in the park. 
and um, yeah these are what they look like and I love these things um, it comes in as you can see a pack of three and so far I've used the mint green which is the lightweight and this one is gives you anywhere from 15 to 30 pounds of resistance then you have the pink which is the medium and this one gives you 25 to 40 pounds of resistance and the lavender I haven't used this one yet which is the heavy and this one gives you uh, between 35 and 60 pounds of resistance so yeah I, I love these things actually so but these have to go back in my gym bag because they normally are not in my tote okay so that's that let's see what else do I have back here okay so that was all in the back hand back side um, portion now in the slip pocket I have a packet of mask I also have let me see do I have anything else back there no the only other thing I have is in the zip pocket on the back and that's my I haven't registered this bag yet so I have the registration card and also um, the tags and that little white sticky thing that's always stuck on the um, inside of the zip I have that back there so now turn it around on the front portion I have um, I have my glasses I have um, let's see, I have my, <laughs> my oldie but goodie, my change purse. I have that in here. And you know what? I've had this thing so long. I think now if I actually did buy a different change purse, I would feel some kind of way about it because I've used this for so long. I've used it in every bag that I uh, have. I think it would probably feel a little abandoned if I didn't continue to use it. But yeah, so that's my change purse. I also have back here um, my keys, but I'm not gonna, well, no, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. I have my keys. I also have, I have my Dooney and Burke, um, I have my Dooney and Burke uh, large frame wallet, which for those of you that may not know, I keep my electronic cords in there and my uh, earbuds in there. So that's that. And that's the only thing that is matching um, it, for my first time use. I also have, let's see, um, in the, oh, I have, uh, um, I had to take my car in for service the other day. So I have, this was a gentleman I never met before. So I took one of his cards. Um, I also have, let's see, in the slip pocket, I have mommy's phone. And let me see, do I need to charge it? I most certainly do. So this is mommy's phone. I also have, um, another cheapy pair of glasses and these um, are not the ones that I normally have the, those the ones that I usually have I don't know I lost them somehow I don't know where I have a feeling though it may have been in the gym because when I'm in the gym I don't take them off I just flip them up on top of my head and I think one day while I was stretching they may have fallen off and I didn't realize it but um, it's okay, they were cheap anyway, so that's fine. Um, all right, so that's what I had in the slip pockets. Now, as far as my wallet and, and my cosmetic case, I decided to use my Kate Spade, and I forgot the name of the print. Um, dang it, yeah, I can't remember the name of the print, but I decided to go with this because, let me move that over. Again, for my first time use, I wanted to add some color and I thought that was pretty. So I went with that. And um, again, so this is my zip around wallet. And 
in my cosmetic case, I just primarily have the usual things that I always have. And, um, oops, one fell out already. This is my um, lip gloss that I like to wear. I also have um, two matte lipsticks. And um, I like to combine these two together, um, especially in the summertime. I, I just like color. And um, I usually line it with the dark and then in the middle use the uh, light color. So those are my lipsticks. I also have, as I always do, my uh, lip pencils. I also have, as we all do, hand sanitizer. I have my um, antibiotic ointment. Now, so far, I haven't used this yet, haven't had the need to use it yet, but I keep it in there because my fear is if I take it out, that would be the moment that I need it. So I just keep it in there. And then I also have my eyebrow pencil. I always have my, even though, again, the bottle says a leave, but I have Tylenol, ugh, Tylenol in there. You all know I always have trouble saying that word, but that's in there. And I always keep this bottle because I like it. It's nice and small and it fits easily into the smaller cosmetic cases. So that's why I keep that. I also have my Neutrogena um, Shine Control Powder. And I don't always necessarily have to use it um, when I'm out, but I keep it in there because of the compact mirror that's on the opposite side. So that's that. And then I still have a ton of these um, United hand sanitizing wipes. And um, I very seldom use them because whenever I have the option to physically wash my hands in soap and water, I use do that versus using the wipes. But again, I never leave home without them. And let's see, the last two things that I have, I have my Nivea hand cream. Now I have a big jar, which is, it can definitely fit in here, but it's way too heavy and it's a glass jar, so I don't carry that with me. So I bought this and I figure once this runs out, I can always just refill it. And not only that, it fits easily into the cosmetic case. So I, that's that. And then the last thing that I have are my tweezers. So that was everything that's in, that I had in my cosmetic case. So let me just go ahead and quickly put all of those things back. Okay, let's see what else do we have in here. Um, oh, the center section. All right, so in the zip center section, I always keep, even though I very seldom use them, but again, I just keep them in there just in case you never know, um, some Kleenex. And I have my gum. I have some mail. Um, mostly, this is mommy stuff because all my stuff, I. Literally, I do everything electronically, so I very seldom get paper mail. And the last, ugh, y'all, the last thing that I have in here, this is from the other day. When I, I took mommy to the ER, we ended up being there overnight. Well, this was greeting me the next day when I got outside to my car. I got a ticket. Um, yeah, so, um, I think I'm gonna fight this one though, because where I parked, I literally looked and there was no sign anywhere that said you cannot park between this time and that time. So um, yeah, I think they were trying to read a, meet a quota or something. And yeah, I, I think I'm gonna try to fight this one. I mean, and I think that is everything. 
So yeah, that's everything that I had in this bag. Even though it holds all that stuff, it can still hold a, a lot more. And without it, look how lightweight this bag is. Just beautiful, it's gorgeous. And I already got some scratches on it. Um, I did spray it with the um, Rain Guard, um, wait, no, what is it called? Apple Guard Rain Repellent. I did spray it with that, but that doesn't pre prevent it from getting scratched. So I have to buff those out. And I did notice, and I don't know how I did, did this because it wasn't there when I opened the box. But somehow, let me see if I can show you. Look at this scratch right here. And it's a deep one. The, the leather is actually peeled upward. And again, I don't know how I did that. So I'm gonna have to go online to see if I could somehow figure out how to correct that or blend it out or I'm not sure, but yeah, I don't, I don't like that, but I did it. So that makes it okay. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna see if I can try to get that out. So y'all, that is everything that I have to share with you today. I just wanted to share with you my first time use. And before I present another video to you, if I change this up and decide to add um, uh, some different charms or, um, oh wait. If I decide to change the charm to add more color to this bag, I will definitely give you a sneak peek so that you can see what it uh, looked like. Okay, so with that, everyone, that is all that I have for today. As always, I really do appreciate you coming by, spending your precious time with me, and until next time, bye-bye.